the Leo and Danny show. Right now, though, speaking of people who are fucked up, let's call Jerry, or as Austin tells me, people have been calling him Fan Judas. Fan Judas. And let's ask him after he's reviewed the clips, mm -hmm. because the only time I talk to him about what happened with my girlfriend, and if for some mm -hmm. reason you missed the last main channel video, which would seem strange to me. Don't miss it. We posted cameras in a bedroom in the Airbnb where I threw a party for my girlfriend's 21st birthday. We set him up by having Mia, my girlfriend, send him hard eyes on Instagram earlier that week, like all of his photos. So we are, he already wanted the fucker. Mm -hmm. We've gone over that. Oh, yeah. Around uh, 4th of July, that 4th of July uh, party we had, he was messaging her all fucking night. So we reeled him in, made him think he had a shot, set up cameras all over a bedroom, and then had my girlfriend lead Fan Jerry upstairs, tell him she wanted to fuck him. And what happened? Fan Jerry lunged in and tried to make out with her oh, yeah. twice. Twice. He said afterwards that he knew the cameras were there, but the video reveals a different story. That's, that's what I'm worried about. I wanted to say this to you, that if when we call him now, if he says this, if he says that excuse again, I'm worried that that's when the fans are really going to be upset. Because when you do something like that, that was obviously, you know, you, you didn't know the camera was there at the beginning, Fed Jerry. Let's be honest. Like, let's call Jerry right now, though, okay, Austin. I'll do that in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's get Thank Jerry you, on the phone. Let's hear his... Not that there's anything to hear. Basically, let's just get an apology. No, we need to get an apology. If he doesn't do that, this is a huge mistake in his career, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Yeah. And his career is going well otherwise. I think you should go off and say unfollow Fan Jerry. Like, if he doesn't if he doesn't apologize, just go off on him. It'll be funny because they'll refollow him later. But blah, 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 blah. Yeah, text him again, that little motherfucker. Oh, he's calling. Okay, Here we call. go. Here's Jerry. Call from... Jerry, fun Jerry. To accept, press one to send a voice. Jerry, hey, what's up? You know who this is? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Never mind. Hey, what's up, man? It's Danny calling you <laughs> from the Leo and Danny show. Yeah, You're on the air. I'm at the car wash. Why are you getting your car washed, Jerry? You ride a motorcycle. Well, yeah, work van. Oh, Jerry, no more small talk. Let's get down to business. The Mia situation. Is that okay? Yeah, everything's justified. What's justified? What? Everything. Everything is justified. Were your actions that night justified? Absolutely. God damn it, dude. I was afraid of this. Let's get yeah, to the very, video, very main issue. Tomorrow. You're putting up a rebuttal video. Yeah. I'm sure my audience will look forward to that. People, go subscribe to Just Jerry if you haven't already. But Jerry, I'm just going to put it simply to you. Will you admit right now that you did not know there were cameras in that room when you went in for the kiss? Okay. Well, yeah, but here's how it's just, if I, if that situation wasn't a prank, right. And it just happened. Yeah. And I didn't make a move and I walked downstairs. I was like, Hey Danny, me just tried to make out with me. Yeah. You would laugh at me and not believe me. So being the good friend that I am, I tried to have sex with her as proof. That it happened. This is one of the most interesting takes you could. One of the most interesting rebuttals. I don't know what to call this. I've ever heard in such a scenario. I I I don't know what how to feel about. And this. how would that be proof? Would I smell your penis and then recognize the <laughs> vaginal scent? How would that be no, proof? Have you smell my fingers, Jerry? Oh you're doing God. a bit. You're doing a bit right now. Tell me for real though. How did you feel about it when you watched it back? Because I think you were fucked up enough. Scratch that. No, you were. Mm -hmm. That the morning after, the whole night was blurry enough that you probably told yourself, I saw the cameras beforehand and did it just to fuck with Danny. But once the video dropped, I think you had to drop that and accept that you were trying to make out with Mia. Yeah. Okay. That's big of you to admit. Do you have anything to say about that? No. I've ruined three marriages including my own oh my god the, what were the other two i'm curious we'll get to those later yeah yeah we have to get to those jerry listen i i want to give you some advice as like your publicist as your friend as a as a as a person that really cares about you i don't know if this is the right thing to do right now i think that you need to show a little heart and i, need, yeah. I think danny mullen's been responsible for a lot of your happiness in the yep. last couple of years yep. A lot of the reasons why, you know, you might be able to sleep with a lot of women in your future. I've gotten you at least one groupie, and you don't forget that. Yeah, at least one. And we need you to... Thank you so much. 
And uh, the, Leo, by the way, is a guy who's watched a lot of Yankees press conferences. So this I is have. sound advice he's giving. This is great advice. Now, I need you to, to say, I, I want a statement from you right now about what happened. And I think that you need to apologize. So let's hear it. I want a, a statement. Let's pretend you're on the stand. Let's pretend you're on a stand. You got microphones. Mm-hmm. You know, the whole world's watching. This was a big scandal. Let's yeah. hear it. Let's hear the let's hear it. Fan Jerry. Come on. What do you what do you ultimately want to hear? We want a statement. I about, want a statement. God, dude. Listen, we want a statement about what happened. I want I want you to 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 I want you to explain your actions. I want you to say why you did it, why it was wrong, and what you're going to do in the future to make sure this doesn't happen again. I need all of those things. Well, here's here's the thing. Think about it. If it wasn't me, like if this wasn't a prank and it wasn't me, it would have been somebody else. And if it would have been somebody else, maybe it was a homeless dude with AIDS. Okay, this so you is, contracted AIDS that you had cheated on you. This yeah. is not okay. But Jerry, you, what we're saying is, yes, I agree that if anybody else was put in that situation, they would have made out with Mia, but they would have made out with her because they wouldn't have known me. You know me. Not only that, you, the, you were invited by Danny there. You would have never even happened. <laughs> Yeah. If Jenny didn't invite you there, that moment, you'd have never been able to catcall yeah, women. This, yeah, wait, can, no, can we back up for two seconds? None of this would have happened if Danny wouldn't have tried to have it happen. I was testing you, Jerry. Well, what do you mean? We all got to test friendships. That's a normal thing. It could be any of us at some point. In many other ways. It doesn't only have to be with pussy. It could be with different things. Jerry, if I roofied a 16-year-old and left her outside of your room at the hitching post and you <laughs> raped her, you're not innocent. Right. Yes, I set me up in front of you, but you metaphorically pulled the trigger. Do you not have a heart? Don't you think that Danny might have lost a little sleep over this? He was he look, he puts on a good face for all of us, but I've seen him uh, when cameras aren't rolling. We have a lot of time in, t- in Kansas to talk about this and he's really disturbed. He wants to know it's not going to happen again. We need you to show some remorse. I don't do remorse very well. Oh my god. Well, I don't feel bad. He doesn't feel bad at all, Danny. This Jerry, is, I don't, this is not what I thought was going to happen today. Jerry, you seem very... This is not even a bit. I, not, I, I know it's, no, I I know really it's not a bit. I know it's not a bit. You're, you're fucking... You mean this. You mean this from the heart. From your heart, you are saying these things, and it's hurtful. It hurts me. So, Jerry, you seem very hostile right now. It seems like you're deflecting and getting angry mm-hmm. is a ways of not... No, modern-day relationships are all just bullshit. None of it really matters anyways. When you die in 100 years, no one's going to remember you or this moment, so nothing fucking matters. Jerry, wow. That's all it really is. Jerry, your nihilism wow. is not going to lead yeah, to anything good I was going to say that life. nihilism... Look, listen, specifically for you, we need you to at least have a fruitful life and provide some more bits for this channel. So you need to get healthier because right now you're speaking from a dark place. All right. We need you to, we need you to, to turn it around fan. Jerry, I'm giving you one more chance. Do you want to apologize to Danny Mullen for what you did? It wouldn't be a heartfelt apology. So what's the point of adding more lives to this conversation? (laughs) Jerry, I'm going to give you a reading list that yeah. I think will really spruce up your attitude toward the world to make you feel better. How do you feel about that? I'm not going to read. I'm not <laughs> going to read. If there are audio books, maybe. Well, we could probably get you the audio version. Yes. God. But this Jerry. Is, yeah, this is not okay. I don't know how I feel about this. Jerry, what's the premise of your video going to be? Are you going to say what you've just said to us over the phone? Your rebuttal video that you're going to put out. Yeah, it's basically that. What, the the life doesn't matter? Who gives a shit? So just do whatever the fuck you want to everybody around you? No, it's more of of the... I was just being a good friend. You were or weren't? Were. I was. I was being a good friend. How are you being a good friend? I'm confused. (laughs) I I was testing your relationship to make sure she wouldn't do anything. But if you had... Say this were totally real and it weren't a prank, and I walked in on you kissing her, and I hadn't set it up... You would, yeah, be, I guess, quote, testing the relationship, but you and I wouldn't speak again from that point on. Would that be worth it? Would testing the durability of my relationship be worth it at that point? Probably. Would you still be posting on Just Jerry? What? Would you still be posting on your YouTube channel, even even if Danny excommunicated you and, you know, threw you off the crew? Yeah. 
Jerry, I'm mostly just doing a bit here. I'm mostly just responding to your super aggressive, frankly, energy yeah. that's coming at us. Right. I don't really, I don't mind at all. I fucking set you up. Obviously, I mean, is it fair to say? I know that, you're not actually mad at me. Is it fair to say that Mia is out of your league by quite a bit? I wouldn't say. Maybe depends on the day. Depends on the day. Depends yeah. on how many views the last Just Jerry video got. Depends how that those curls no, it are flowing. On just how confident I feel that morning. So she sometimes you're saying is in your league, depending if you wake up really happy. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's delusional, but we're gonna move on. <laughs> if you're oh, if a girl who was say three to four numbers on the one through ten scale appeared at my side and I was shit faced drunk and she made a move at me and she was dating one of my friends. Jerry, I probably would have done the same thing, especially if how many girls have you had sex with? In my life? Yes. More than you would think. We've been over this. How many? Say it right now for the audience. 65. That is quite a bit. Jerry, wow, wow that's enough sexual experience where you should wow. be able to turn down a piece of ass. Yeah, come on now, man. My buddy said after 10, you should be fine. lately. Yeah. Oh, it's been dry. What happened to the girl to Pokemon Go? I was really excited for you two. The girl you were going to bury in a park. Yeah. I haven't talked to her. Jerry, what I was getting at oh, is God. I think Mia is enough of a carrot on a stick that I, I don't resist you for fuck. I don't blame you for going in and trying to make out with her at all. I'm just a little alarmed now that you won't just be like, yeah, dude, I'm, I was way coked up. I was super drunk. I'm sorry. That's all I want. Wow. Well, I said that and then you kept going after it. When no, did you I say don't sorry? Think you said that at all. You never apologized. I would ask Austin to pull up that clip, but he's too stoned. <laughs> <laughs> right now? Probably. Listen, so will you just not? You Are you refusing to apologize to Danny? I'm just saying it wouldn't be a heartfelt apology, and it would be a lie. So you didn't apologize. So yeah, you didn't apologize then. <laughs> well, I'm saying that under normal so sober circumstances, I probably wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. But drunk, I cannot let Mia and you enter the same household, huh? Yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, yeah, because I hang out with Mia all the time, and you're not around. Have you gotten a lot of hate? Have you? Uh, how do you feel about all the comments and shit? How are you dealing with that? The 900 extra followers that I've gotten? Oh, no. Let them hate me. Uh -oh. Yeah, Dude, you should quit your job. You got 900 followers? Everybody's been getting a lot of... Yeah, yeah there's been out, an uptick Jerry. in followers or something. Listen, uh, so you refuse to apologize to Danny. This is really happening. I was worried about this. I don't know, man. The podcast fans are really dedicated fans. They might not like this, Fan Jerry. They might not like this. You know, they do have the number to your hitching post. And they do... <laughs> They have all your communicate. You know, they could probably find your work. These guys are crazy. I'd be afraid if I were you. So, so you're setting them up to ruin my life. So no, we're not this, setting them up to ruin your life. Now it's your fault, saying. Leo. It's all your fault. That now it's my fault. Yeah, oh. Jerry, now it's Leo's fault. Jerry, just listen to me right now. Drop the attitude. Lay your shield down on the ground. Think about Bill Clinton. <laughs> when it came out that Bill Clinton shoved a Cuban up some cunt's twat. <laughs> What did he say? I don't know. I was like five during the press conference, but I think he said, I'm sorry. Right. Eventually. At the beginning, he lied, just like you did. And then he said, sorry. And then what happened? People forgave him. Exactly. Yeah, but it wasn't, he wasn't actually sorry. Well, you don't know so that. to lie and apologize? Jerry, you feel zero remorse? You feel no remorse at all. I would probably feel remorse if it wasn't, the whole thing wasn't set up. But I don't because it was. It doesn't make it. It doesn't make it okay that you don't feel remorse. I'm worried now. Jerry, how are we going to shoot together moving forward? I'm afraid. I'm afraid that you're going to have this defensive, angry attitude the whole time. And I feel like if you're just like, yeah, Danny, I did a bunch of coke. I was fucked up. I know you set me up. I've already told you I'm not mad at you. I just want you to be like. No, I know. I, I'm not upset at all here. How far would you actually have gone? Would you just have like made out with her and been like, oh, this is wrong? Or would you have taken that dirty no, little fucking have. cock out? Be honest. No, I wouldn't have. Jerry, how can we believe you? Yeah, how can we believe you now that you're not even apologizing? I don't know. Your your soul's darker than I thought. You have you've had well, a child. I've 
You've had a child and you still don't what do this for your kid, Van Jerry. I've told you this before, but your kid's gonna watch this podcast one day in probably three, four years. <laughs> and he's gonna see that his father bro broke the bro code. The dog. He broke the fucking bro code and he isn't even apologizing to yep. his bro? Come on. Okay, I'm Danny. I'll never do it again. So can you make I hope this a sense? Affect our relationship. Can you see? You're still being snarky. Yeah. Please, like Leo. Oh asked, my God! I dropped the thing and I apologized, and you're still going after me. That's what I'm talking about right there. That attitude see, needs to yeah, go. What is going on, Jerry? I don't like I'm this podcast. I hate this podcast. Why do you hate this podcast? Yes, what this, the fuck, Jerry? We were getting somewhere. Wait one second, yeah, Leo. Yeah, yeah. Jerry, come on, man. Who? Snatched you out of the Marine Corps in the pizza <laughs> delivery job. Took you to a Walmart. How'd you hold a cannon while I tried to make out with the 19-year-old shelf-stocking girls? Who did that for you? I did that for you. Oh, my God, dude. Let me rephrase this. Who gave you your 12,000 Instagram followers that you love to tell women about at parties? <laughs> Who got you laid by a certified groupie in Las Vegas? And who has taken you around the state of California, having kick-ass times in various shitty towns, and has made your Definitely life... not Leo. Oh, uh, well. Jerry, is it fair to say that the channel has made your life 10 to 20% more interesting? More interesting, for sure. 10 to 20% more interesting? Yeah. You couldn't say better? It hasn't made your life better? Debatable. Oh, <laughs> why is it debatable? Because one jackass showed up at the hitching post. No, that no, that has nothing to do with it. Why is it made it debatably really better? Debatable. Why isn't it just all the way better? I don't know. I don't think about it that much. You think about it all the time. You're on social media I constantly. Up. I think he just thought he thought the world owed him the twelve thousand followers. I believe. Is that what it is, Jerry? The world owes me a lot. Yeah, see, he has that that attitude. Jerry, when was the last time you woke up, put both your feet on the side of the bed, and just thought, I'm grateful for what I have in this life. I live in Southern California. Seven years ago. San Diego. <laughs> Seven years ago? Jerry, you know how many motherfuckers around the world would literally take lives mm -hmm. to be you? The people in Russia, mm -hmm. in literally every single place Sudan, in Africa. yeah. The kids making iPhones in China right now. Yeah. You know how many people would trade their life for yours? It's probably some Filipinos in Panorama City right now that would kill. Everybody in Panorama, Panorama yeah, City. Everybody in Panorama City. Think about that, Jerry. And I'm being honest right now. Can you take that in right now? And I know you're yeah. somewhere in San Diego. I'm looking out my window at L.A. There's not a cloud in the fucking sky. Mm -hmm. It's about 78 degrees. Can you at least admit that that is nice and you're grateful Absolutely. I would have been here regardless, but. Been where regardless? San Diego. I don't care where you would have been regardless, you... except right now that your life is, as far as the rest of the world is concerned, in the 98th percentile of goodness. Absolutely. You show up in an air conditioned you job. Mean? You take a fucking van through a car wash. You jerk off onto some calibrating equipment <laughs> and you go home and drink some Mike's hard. You have a kick-ass <laughs> life. Is that what the job is? You jerk off on calibrating You make equipment? video. <laughs> that's how you calibrate things. You make some videos. It's, if they can detect cum on one of the little slides, you know We're it's good. really sensitive. It works. Oh. One load one should load. weigh three grams. One load. Nice. Jerry, you make videos. You have a dedicated audience. And then you get to come on a shoot. Last time we shot together, maybe not even last time, but one of the times recently we shot, you got to ride around in a limo smoking a weed, having a great time. You have a kick-ass life, dude. I'm tired of all this negativity. This, oh, I'm going to make out with this girl and fuck this, and I hate my life because everything sucks. Everything doesn't suck. Everything in your life, yeah. other than some inconveniences with your ex-wife and child, is pretty fucking great. 
You're pretty confident of that, aren't you, Danny? <laughs> what sucks about your life? Other than a shitty ex-wife, what is terrible about your life? Your father's rich. When he passes away one day, you're going to be probably have, you're going to have a lot of money, I think. Jerry, tell you're me. You're right. I can't wait until my dad dies. Well, Jerry, no, I'm just Jerry, saying. Jerry, tell me one thing other than your family situation as far as your wife that really sucks about your life right now. I'm, no, I'm not doing that here. Because there isn't one, is there? What? Yeah, you're you get right. To, nope, you get to nothing. come home to reptiles and dogs and fucking Jerry, tarantulas. You have, you have a loyal monitor lizard that will watch you <laughs> masturbate an endless amount of times. He has watched me masturbate. Hey, you're losing. You're, you've lost 50 fucking pounds. I'm really impressed. I'm a little worried about how you're doing it, but you've still you've lost weight. You're almost there, man. You're going to get abs One again. One meal a day. Uh, I think it might also be instead of Jenny Craig, a certain white powder diet. Mm. That's what yeah, Leo's that's not a thing I do on a daily basis. I Thank hope not. I hope not. <laughs> um, Leo, were you really concerned about that? I was uh, concerned about that. It really does rid you of your hunger pains. I'll say that much. But listen, uh, once again, if you really think about it, sometimes you can have a, you can you can convince yourself of a situation and say, I don't feel bad about this. I've done it a million times. I've been an asshole. I've I've, I've banged girlfriends of acquaintances, not good friends, but acquaintances. And I've I've yeah, like thought to myself, really you know what? We only live before. once. I'm I'm a big we only live once guy. And I've thought to myself, like, I've convinced myself that it, it's not a big deal. But then one day yeah, as you grow, you jobs aren't cheating. Well, that's not true, Pat Jerry. They are cheating, and it's something I've admitted to doing it to cheating in the past with that, and and something I am trying to rid myself of doing going forward. Now, what I'm saying is, if you reflect, if you truly reflect, I think you'll find it in your heart to give a true apology one day. And I hope, I hope to see that day, Fan Jerry. Danny, hope. you're yeah. not actually mad at me. No, I'm, I'm not, not actually upset at you. Well, you, no. you were aware of this, right? Well, I don't I don't know why you would be upset at me. Yeah, I mean, why even bring that up? But no, Jerry, I totally understand, dude. Can I tell you a story really quickly? Yes, sir. There was a kid named, uh, I should not say, I'll say Chris. His name was Chris. <laughs> the first, let me just set the stage a little bit. I had, at this point in my life, only kissed a girl on the lips with a closed mouth. She was this girl named Brittany Brandon. She was going around <laughs> Sunsplash. Again, huh? It was so alliterative and beautiful. <laughs> she was going around Sunsplash. It was our eighth grade last day of school. Remember that? The last day of school, you oh, go to the yeah. water park. And her and some other whore yeah. were having a contest to see who could kiss the most guys. <laughs> I was, oh, some other whore yeah, did? Oh, I was number God. 78. Really? That's probably why I've had issues with cold sores my whole life was because of Brittany Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, at that point, I had Dude. this friend named Chris. Chris was two years older than me. He had a girlfriend named Katie and Katie was a hot cheerleader chick and her and Chris had been going at it for maybe six months. One night, her and I wound up at a party together. It was one of my first times getting drunk and I used to get Nico style drunk, blacked out blind. And this girl, Katie, started coming on to me. You know what I did, Jerry? I made out with her in the bathroom rubbed her pussy next to the sink in there and then told her to meet me in a dark bedroom. I proceeded to eat her pussy and she gave me a hand job. And the next day I was so ashamed of what I'd done that, uh, you know, I don't even remember what I did. I never told Chris about it. Hmm. I don't think there's a moral to the story. The moral of the story is, I guess, just hook up with people's girlfriends and lie. But I'm trying to relate to you, Jerry. I understand when there's a girl like Katie, who was a cheerleader, who was older than me, who was offering me sex when I was fucked up. I understand that that's not easy for a mortal man to turn down. And you're very mortal, yeah. Jerry. <laughs> and I mean that with a degree of disrespect. Thanks, buddy. I forgive you is what I'm saying. Because Mia... She's been doing yoga or some bullshit. Her ass is really tight right now. <laughs> she's got a great set of titties. She's pretty. She's hot. And Jerry, from an objective standpoint, if I had to write down a list of 10 guys I would fuck in this world, you wouldn't be on it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So I understand why you would in your state, which you were out of your head that night. I understand why you would have done it. And I've fucking been there and I'm trying to add in some jokes and I set you up. So, yeah, dude, I'm not fucking mad at you at all. I don't even care if he apologizes. Jerry, yeah. I'm just saying, 
you don't have to be defensive and be asshole with me, mm-hmm. dude. It's it's fucking okay. You're right, Jerry. I did set you up. It was a bit. I wanted you to try to make out with her. He did. He you, wanted it. If you if you didn't though, I think it would have been a nice surprise. I think I think it would have made him smile. I think it would have. Yeah. If you came straight down and you were that loyal, it would have been kind of yeah. cool. Now also, fan Jerry. Yeah, but you needed me for the video. Well, yes, but also, fan Jerry. We also wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, Leo. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't mean to. Fuck, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. When you say I needed you for the video, what do you mean by that, Jerry? Because I've heard you. Um, I've heard that you've complained on live streams in the past that I quote use you for content. No, I've definitely never done that. But um, no, I'm saying that that was a very vital moment of that last video. Well, it would have been cool either way. I think. I think the fans would have liked it if you were super loyal. I think. There was a shitload of, of other content in that video that was absolutely hysterical. Yeah, Leo, you're never going to agree with what I have to say, so it's very relevant. That is not true. I agree with you all the time. Are you serious? <laughs> also, I wanted to tell you that sometimes, I, as a man, I, I've seen both sides of a guy that was really well-liked by women, and I've also been a guy that was really dorky, and it was back in the day when I was in middle school, and women didn't... I, I couldn't... like I would see women, and I knew that I couldn't get them. And I can tell you this, that you don't ever be upset at that, the, the idea that women aren't attracted to you unless you are in your peak place. If you are reading every day and you're, you have abs and you're fucking eating well and, and you're a fucking Lothario, you're a fucking renaissance man, and women still aren't attracted to you, then be upset. But otherwise, and I think if you did get to your peak, if you got to peak fan Jerry, you could have banged any girl at that fucking party. You could have banged Natalie, dude. You could have banged Natalie or the other couple of girls. Or the one that Austin made a pass on. Yeah. So that <laughs> went so, down in flames. Yeah, that was fucking classic. All I'm saying is get to that peak, fan Jerry. It would be a shame if you never got to that peak again. I mean, you were pretty good. You were you were pretty studly in the Marines at some point. But get to that peak again now, man, because honestly, by if you were at hitting your peak around 30 years old, Fan Jerry, and you got the fucking channel behind your back, you're going to be able to pull a lot of tail, and it's going to be good times. It's something for you to look forward to, is all I'm saying. So okay. get to get to peak Fan Jerry. Jerry, I'm not even going to ask you to get to your peak. I'm just going to ask you right now, because you talk about suicide and the futility of life a lot. Just go outside today, look around, and say, I am grateful okay. for what I have in life. You live in the best goddamn city in the prettiest state. I'm not going to say yeah. the best state because there are a lot of things that suck about California, financially yeah. speaking. You live in the prettiest fucking state, probably the prettiest place in the world. Yeah. Just walk outside and be like, I make 70K a year. I have a bed. I have a dog. I have a monitor lizard I can masturbate in front of. <laughs> it's not so bad. Your can- penis works, for God's sake. There's people out there that are impotent. There's people with micro penises. Come on. Can you just do that for us, Jerry? Can you just be grateful? It's about perspective. Sure. Thank you. What's tell me one thing you're grateful for right now. Um, In place of an apology, give me one thing you're grateful for. This Rockstar Energy I just bought. Rockstar Energy. They're tasty. They give you a nice little rush. Mm -hmm. You feel peppy. You feel a little bit eh, almost imperceptibly, but perceptibly happier. Mm -hmm. Rockstar Energy kicks ass, Jerry. This is great. Things are looking up. Sorry, I'm working at the same time. Oh, oh you're masturbating on calibration equipment? Yeah. All right, Jerry. Well, well, I we tried. We tried. I look forward to your rebuttal video and uh, have a blessed day. Have a great day, Fun <laughs> Jetty. Buddy. When are you coming to San Diego, Danny? I think I'm going to come down there next Sunday to watch some football. That's something I'm grateful for. Mm. I'm going to lay out on the fucking beach. I don't know why I put that before. Because football starts at 10 a.m. I'm not going to lay out on the beach at like 8 a.m. <laughs> there's there's no UVs at that point. I'm going to go watch a, a black guy who weighs 80 more pounds than me throw a ball made of a pig's skin across some turf. And that's going to make me happy. And I'm grateful for that. Good. Thank you. You want to join us, Jerry? Maybe. I'm going down to my buddy Tim's house. Tim was at the party. He was the one who didn't try to fuck yeah. my girlfriend. Tim. <laughs> t- uh, oh, who did, though? Um, Bailey? I wouldn't be surprised. Bailey tried but to I fuck everyone. But I hold you to a higher standard than Bailey. Bailey tried to fuck everyone at that party. Men, women, <laughs> children, dogs. That's also true. You know. I need to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jerry, it's good. Man. Jerry, I fucking... I could play you. Set, I set you up, dude. I had me a hard eye your pictures the week before. We set you up, man. I don't blame you at all. It's all good, dude. Okay, good. No animosity? No animosity, buddy. There wasn't before we started this call. It's okay, man. I just sent some defensiveness. You don't have to be defensive, dude. I'm not going to look at you any differently. I'm defensive because I'm stressed and busy all the time, not because I'm mad at you. Am I not? What? Am I not busy all the time? Oh, no, I'm just, I don't handle it well. I'm just stressed. I can help you, dude. When I'm down in San Diego, I've done some things that have reduced my stress load by a lot, and I think everybody notices it. I can help you out. All right, sweet. Just, but I'll let you guys get back to your podcast. I need to finish my work. All right, brother. All right, dude. And don't forget to squeegee your monitor lizard's tank window. <laughs> It's right. getting a little Thanks, dirty. Buddy. He comes right on it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Directly on it. He sexually oh, wow. abuses the monitor. Wow. It's too bad there's not some sort of monitor lizard outreach program. Oh, wow. All right, Jerry. What if we called All Petco right. and we fucking reported? <laughs> we should 100% at the end of this podcast to close. Call up Petco? That. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>